Daik said he wants to break his face. <laughs> Tabuya says he likes to stay calm and control and God will take care of him. Well, he, he usually is very calm and controlled. Oh, oh, oh. Teak immediately out with a, a jumping sidekick. Nice quick jab from Tabuev though. Switching stance. See a bit more traditional boxing perhaps from Tabuev here. Yeah, right away. The jab to the body. I like that. Now to the head. Silver keeping a nice high guard though. We've seen he throws in good combinations, good power. The question we had though, Bass, coming into this one, Tabuev, you know, Skrivas put him under a hell of a pace. He did, and, and that's why he broke. But, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the opening, it's, 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 he broke his uh, arm before that fight, and he wasn't completely healed from it, so he didn't train his heart for his stamina. Yeah, Tabuev said to us uh, previously that he feels Tahik Silva, whilst he has a lot of power, is slower yep. in how he punches. And he's hoping to take advantage of that. Tabuev hoping he's built a strategy that's going to help him beat the very tough Brazilian. Yeah, Tate said that he matched his hair to the belt here, the <laughs> golden belt, because he wants it. And he knows that if he wins this fight, he might go for a belt. Yeah, this, a this of course, the new weight category at Karate Combat. So several fighters lined up to work their way through a tournament format to try and get a shot at that golden belt. It's a nice jab. Yep, and a good counter underneath that with the left kick to the body. Oh, and that straight shot is finding the way through the guard of Silver a couple of times now. Yeah, he's measuring his distance and he's finding it. And again, connected to it. And a nice right hand connected there. Oh, there's a liver kick again. Yeah, straight up the open side there. Of course, the unorthodox stance for Teak Silva means they're firing open side to open side, constantly trying to circle and get outside that lead leg with the foot position. <laughs> Tebuev staying on the outside here. You see him circling constantly to the left. Doesn't want to move right because it will typically be into the power shots yep. of Teak Silva. And <laughs> powerful shots they are, as we've already mentioned. He already felt it, that left kick. Oh, the jab returned with it. Spinning back to Earth, Earth fist. You know, Tebuev with a, a doctorate uh, in electrical engineering, electrical systems management. So very analytical approach to his life in general, he's told us, and fighting is no different to that. He's doing a great job. He's connecting. He's a cross liver shot. I mean, he's setting everything up. He found his range. He stays just outside his range as well. You see, great control. And he's really using that jab very, very effectively. It's, it's relentless at the moment. Silva trying to bob and weave and find his way in for the big shot, but you see they are slower and wider. Yep. Tebuev playing some mind games now of his own. A little bit uncharacteristic for him. Yeah, well, maybe that's a little uh, payback from yesterday <laughs> on the way in. And Bass, I got so caught up in that round, I didn't notice that the first three minutes has expired as they head back to their corners. Let's take a look at the replays here. Bass and firing fast Woo! is Teak Silva. Yeah, Toby, my giddy. This is a fleeting front kick. Boom, cross hook, whoa. But after that, that point, land. the story was mostly this jab by Mr. Yep. Tebuev. Non-stop, finding its target. Big hook, swing, wow, yeah. Well, if it hits, it's a problem, but <laughs> he needs to connect. Yeah, the range management of Mr. Tebuev has been fantastic as we take a look at Teak Silva in his corner pit side here. Bass, if you had to lean one way or the other in that round, perhaps Mirza Tebuev a little yeah. bit cleaner. No, Tebuev, for sure. He just connected. Let's go. Last time, he did really well against our champion Screamers. In the first two rounds, I, he might have taken those rounds. It was just the pressure that broke him at the end. So Tebuev comes out, big sidekick from the open side. For the people at home, if you want to know, it's a Yoko Giri, that's what they call the sidekick. Yeah, front kick as well. And another jab. Silva keeping that very high guard, looking to parry the shots coming in, but he, he hasn't had an answer for that jab yet. And now Tebuev keeping the, the longer range with the kicks. Got the longer rat, uh, reach, also in the legs. Wow, look at this, the way he moves. Do you feel perhaps that, well, oh, that was a better combination from Silva, and he's really starting to try and chase him down now, but it's a little bit predictable in this forward motion. Hey. 
Tebuev staying very calm, not getting drawn into a brawl here. Which is very smart, because we know they can Yeah, don't, don't want to brawl with Zeke Silver if you can help it. Despite the height difference between these two, I mean, you, you've got four-inch height advantage for Mirzu Tebuev on paper. The, the reach advantage in the hands and the feet is virtually identical. But Tebuev certainly seems to be making the most of it now just by virtue of straighter shots. Oh, that's crazy because if you look at it, it looks like Tebuev has longer legs than arms. Maybe they're more lengthy and it looks like that. That's me on the bone. <laughs> Silver again, trying to be the aggressor, trying to chase him down here, but Tebuev's managed to stay out of trouble, and they're not big shots, but they're, they're scoring shots. And, and, he, and he's moving out the whole time. Yeah, circular lateral motion. Connects and he's out. Minute, style. Minute 13 seconds left here in the second round. There's a, a left hook to the body. Oh, big swing. Yeah, Silver's, Silver's, again. Silver's really swinging for the fences here, but he's got to be careful of covering up in that guard. Oh, nice attempted inside trip. Again, looks for it. They need to break here, though. They only get a second to work in the clinch. And again, constantly the jab in the face. I mean, that just... Oh, oh that's, that's a, a good hard body shot. Body shot. Spleen. Boom. Yeah, to the left side of the body, so no liver there. But that was an easy shock off from Tibuev, who looks to push Silva back against the wall. Last 30 seconds here. <laughs> Tibuev's got to keep this pace up. It does require a lot of energy to keep moving like this, keep firing the jab out. Better parrying now from Zeke Silva. Let's get to the body there by Silva. Oh, big swing. Big spinning backfish just misses the mark. Yeah, he told us that he was going to throw a lot of body shots and he's doing it. Tebuev so good at just throwing Silver around in the clinch there. Second yeah. round is over and Bass a little bit more even in that one. A little bit more even, but Tebuev again, you know, he's scoring. He's in and out the whole time. And, you know, if you look at the aggressor, that would be take. But the scoring and the damage is done. Let's look at the replay here. It was a, a nice oh, side kick from Tebuev. The big hooks from Silver. It was really that body shot further on where he where he found the mark, and there Boom. it is, digs it in nicely. Oh, and the left, and left well. also, two shots, dunk, dunk. Yeah, I think perhaps he, he needs a bit more of that. It was few and far between the shots he actually connected with, unfortunately. But he really is pushing the pace to come forward, and you see some heavy breaths from Tebuev Bas. This was where he had the problem last time, going yep. into the third round. Well, let's see what's going to happen. Silva doesn't look tired. No, came in very well prepared, despite the cut from 68 to 61 kilos. Actually came in a little underweight at 60.7 kilos. <laughs> Silver only 25 years old. Still a lot of time ahead of him in his career. But Look at the way he moves out of the way, that's so beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's making Silver chase him down and, and then the swing and the miss to, to end each sequence. Of course, it's no good to just stay on the outside. You have got to land strikes and to Tibuev's credit, that's what he's been doing throughout. They haven't been big shots, but they've been scoring shots. That's what it's all about. I mean, we say, Bass, you know, both these guys were two and two coming in, 50-50 record. Neither one of them wants to fall the wrong side of that ratio, do they? Yeah. And again, great movement. This is the moment that takes you to unload on the body. Yeah, when he gets in close, right? Yep. Try and break the clinch a little bit. Up, 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 up. Wrap it up with a head shot. I am surprised how much stronger in the clinch Tebuev has appeared to be when they've tied up here. Wow, look at that. Look at that hook straight. Why not? Yeah, I mean, these are not big gloves. Force still gets through that guard, even when you take the shots on the, the arms and the hands. Yeah, four outs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a boxing glove. Nope. Oh, nice left hand landed there by Take Silver. See, there you saw he's got the reach if he wants to throw the straight shots, but we're seeing almost no straight shots from, from Silver at any point whatsoever. Yep. 
And it's hurting him because the distance, the controlling the distance is all done by Kevue. Nice spinning wheel kick. A lot of power, but oh, body head. not close enough. Double jab. I mean, he's going. Yeah, and he's not getting caught up in throwing more than the three or four shots. You know, he's landing them, he's getting out again. And again, we see Tebuev just throwing silver around in the clinch there. It's not technical, but it's getting the job done for him. Final minute of the fight. Another one, two, connecting. Yeah, if I would have been Silva, I would say in the clinch, go for the body shots that he worked on so hard because they're powerful and they wrap it up with a headshot. But he's not. Yeah, it's either just the body or just the head. Yeah, that load up, you can see coming. Yeah, it really does cork his whole body back to throw it. Final 20 seconds here. Oh, nice jab and out again. Yeah, that's, that's really been the story of the fight. Tebuev landing these shots, Silva trying oh. to throw. And that was, I think, more of an off-balance. Yes, I think so too. It was when it connected, but still. Silva trying to finish strong here, ties up in the clinch, avoids the outside trip, and time expires here in this bout. Nine minutes through the clock, and Teak Silva seems to think he's done enough to win. Certainly getting fired up with the crowd. I'm not as convinced, I have to say. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. Boom, left hook. Let's take a look at some of the kicking of Teak Silva. Nice left, Moashi Giri. Roundhouse kick, there's the uppercut hook. As you say, they weren't big shots. They, they hit the guard, but they scored and got out. You know, he didn't take any damage in that exchange. <laughs> now we take a look. Both fighters, you know, they, they've got to have a whole mixture of thoughts going through their head right now, Bass. When you're waiting on a decision like this, what are they thinking about? Please let it be me. Please let it be me. Please let it be me. <laughs> I'm sure it is that simple. <laughs> Well, it's certainly going to be one of these two gentlemen. Let's uh, head down to the pit and get our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner. Yep. And as we suspected, Bas Mirza Tabu have unanimous decision win here. Doing enough, staying on the outside, landing the scoring shots, and really avoiding the power punches of Teak Silver.